Hey all, welcome back to another interesting lesson in this Tosca playlist. Today we are going to talk about how we can uh, record executions in Trascentis Tosca. And this feature uh, was recently introduced, uh, at least in the latest versions of Tosca, uh, where you can record the complete execution whenever you run your test, either from Scratchbook or from an execution list. Okay, so this particular feature is very interesting and useful uh, because when whenever we are executing our automation test cases from Tosca, sometimes it may happen that uh, you you are executing them uh, somewhere on the remote machine or you are doing distributed execution. Right. In these cases, uh, you may not be monitoring your executions continuously. And if it is a long test case, which maybe takes an hour or a half an hour, then uh, there might be some issue which pops up in between, which breaks your test. And then uh, you, it is difficult to debug uh, that particular issue because you have to get and go through your test case, your test steps, your modules, and find out where exactly it, uh, it was broken. Even though it will show it in the uh, logs, you can find the errors which are happening, but uh, the error logs are not uh, really conclusive all the time. So it's really uh, useful if you can take some screenshot of uh, either the, where the issue happened, or um, you can even have a recording if your test case fails, okay? And then you can look at that recording and find out where exactly your test case is failing, and then you can go ahead and easily fix it. So it's a useful feature, but then it has its own downsides where uh, you have to store these recordings and then you have to decide how you can uh, manage these recordings because this can take up quite uh, some space if you record your test uh, executions, right? But there are ways to manage that. But first, let's see how you can use this particular feature, okay? Now, as I said, if this feature is not available in your Tosca Commander, it is because uh, you may be using a uh, older version of Tosca Commander. This is mostly uh, available after 15.1, as I know. So currently, I'm using the 16 version, and uh, I would recommend you to upgrade your Tosca Commander if you have not done so. Okay. So to enable this feature, uh, we have to uh, enable something on the settings. So when we go into project and settings, this is where we have to change this setting and you have to go to a T box and under T box, you will find execution recorder. Okay. Now by default, this execution recorder, uh, enable execution recorder is disabled and I can enable it, but there are two more options, right? So either I can enable it for all my test executions or I can only enable it only when my test case fails, which is quite uh, logical also, because I would be more interested when uh, my test case fails, I would like to look at that recording. But if you have got lots of uh, memory and space, then you can uh, even uh, enable it for all the executions, okay? But just for this session, um, I will just keep it to enabled, okay? Uh, the output file name template, you can always change it based on how you want uh, it to be uh, uh, stored. Okay, so it is basically stored with test case name and execution start time uh, in the MP4 format, but you can change the name um, as you wish. Okay, then uh, the output path is uh, under your uh, Tosca projects. Okay, and there there is a folder called recordings. Uh, you can also adjust this output path if you need to. So once you enable this, uh, you can close the setting. And now whatever executions I do, either on Scratchbook or on the execution list, my uh, execution recording should be available on that particular path, okay? So for example, this last test case which we developed uh, for fire event, if I go ahead and run this now, so this particular execution will be recorded and uh, MP4 file will be available on that particular path after the execution is completed. So do remember that even if you pause uh, the execution, your recording won't be paused, okay? So it will continue. And once this is completed, then um, I can go to that path 
so you can see here uh, this particular path it is under C Tosca projects this is the default path uh, if you have not changed it then uh, Tosca commander under this we have the recordings folder and inside this you will see that uh, this particular file has just been created okay so it's basically a simple recording of my complete execution starting from uh, opening the page and executing that particular test so whatever uh, you are doing execution it will basically record the whole screen okay so uh, that's how uh, you can create a recording and you can view it um, either based on failures or basically do it for all your executions but what if uh, you don't want to run any particular test case okay or you don't want to record the execution of particular test cases because you know that um, these may pass all the time so if you have enabled it for all the test cases and you still want to filter out some of the test cases you don't want because maybe it is too lengthy it will create a long video or any reason okay uh, you can do that easily so what you need to do is either on the folder level or test case level go ahead and create a test configuration parameter okay so here um, if i go ahead and create a test configuration parameter and then i just have to name it avoid execution recorder okay so this is the test configuration parameter name and uh, then the value should be set to true okay so you can also have this test configuration parameter at a root level and then uh, or at a folder level or at a test case level okay so you can just set it to true or false and based on that uh, don't even need to change the setting all the time uh, based on this test configuration parameter it can figure out uh, which test case execution should be recorded and which should not be now um, if I go ahead and run this this time around you will see that uh, there would be no execution recording uh, which will be available okay uh, before that I should have opened the pages otherwise this is going to fail so let me close this because I haven't opened the URLs on this particular test case so this is always going to fail so let me go ahead and open this website where we are using or testing this particular feature okay so these are multiple tabs which are open and uh, i'm going to now run this let's see okay so if you have not watched this video uh, already it is present uh, how you can handle multiple tabs using a constraint uh, parameter okay which you can add for uh, your page then based on that it can pick up any particular tab okay so uh, the execution is completed as you can see uh, it has passed and now if I go back to my recordings and I refresh this page you will see that no execution recording has been created okay so this is a way to filter out uh, some test cases where you don't want any recordings okay now um, interestingly as I said uh, you can use this recording feature both on the scratch book also on the execution list level so let's see um, how this will uh, happen at an execution list level okay so if I go ahead and create execution list and then we try to run this okay so let me do this and I will call it um, obstacle addition okay and uh, let's go ahead and run this now uh, it's basically the same thing uh, but this time around uh, you can see that recording as part of your execution list okay so let's wait for this to complete and then uh, this particular recording will be available on that particular folder okay so this is completed now and you can see that uh, it has created this 
okay so it has named it as per the execution list test case uh, and there are two recordings right now one is scratch book one is execution list so this is how uh, you can create execution recordings uh, both from scratch book also from the execution list and it's an useful feature as i said but uh, also it takes up your uh, hard disk space so use it wisely and that's all for this particular video i hope it was interesting uh, and useful so do tune into our channel to watch more such videos uh, which are coming up pretty soon so i would suggest you uh, subscribe to our channel so that you get notified about all these videos if you want to learn tosca right from scratch so see you again uh, with another interesting feature coming up pretty soon